In July of 2020, Jack sucks that life managed to use a YouTube glitch to obtain a diamond play button despite not having 10 million subscribers. This was the first time in YouTube history that something like this was achieved, and since this resulted in the glitch being patched, it was believed to be the last time that something like this would happen in history. But that doesn't mean that by using a different technique, you won't be able to do something even more incredible. This is how Jack sucks at life did the impossible. When Jack received the diamond play button, he had pretty much completed the base of his collection. He had a few golden play buttons, tons of silver play buttons, and now a diamond. And since there aren't many YouTube channels with over 50 million subscribers or 100 million subscribers, there wasn't really another award he could obtain when it comes to amount of subscribers, as YouTube doesn't tend to make play buttons for channels after 10 million. That is of course not including custom play buttons made by YouTube for specific channels, such as the 100 million play buttons made for T-Series and PewDiePie. However, with there being such a limited amount of these awards, there was almost no chance that Jack would be able to get his hands on one. Especially since a 100 million award is a great thing to have, so there's no way anyone would get rid of theirs, right? Well, about that. Before all of this, one of the awards that Jack already had was a briefcase in which a 100 million award arrived in. Specifically, PewDiePie's 100 million award. How did Jack come across this very rare piece of YouTube history? Well, one day, PewDiePie just threw it away. Then someone found it and put it on eBay, which Jack ended up buying and receiving in about July of 2020. Since PewDiePie prefers to live a rather minimalistic lifestyle, he has no intentions of keeping things like YouTube awards just for them to sort of sit around. So it's not uncommon for him to throw or give away a play button of his, because he has no plans to keep it. So in the past, he has tossed away his original gold play button, his diamond play button, and he has supposedly also gotten rid of the 50 million ruby award. And then, in 2021, a YouTuber by the name of Lizard Lava, who's a big fan of PewDiePie, got married. And after getting engaged a little bit before, he had invited PewDiePie to his wedding, which unfortunately he had to decline as he wouldn't be able to make it. However, he did decide to ship Lizard Lava a wedding gift as a congratulations and also a thank you for being such a huge supporter. And this gift just so happened to be PewDiePie's 100 million YouTube award, the same one that came in the briefcase that was currently in the hands of Jack. So, in October of 2021, PewDiePie's 100 million subscriber play button was in Lizard Lava's possession. And after realising this, Jack had an idea in mind. Of course, I'm sure he was just kidding when he said give me your best offer. Because it'd be a bit disrespectful to PewDiePie if he was to just make a load of money out of this very thoughtful wedding gift. However, that doesn't mean that I can't just borrow it. Just so he can put it in the briefcase, okay? So, Jack planned to borrow the award from Lizard Lava. It was a solid plan borrow the award, bring it back to its case for the first time in a while, get a decent video out of it, and then send it back so that Lizard can keep his wedding present. Now, we just had to wait for a follow-up, and after a couple more Jack Sucks at Stuff videos, it was confirmed. He had it. Then, just like he promised, Jack uploaded this video, how I got PewDiePie's 100 million red diamond play button, and in this video, he unboxed it. Okay, here we go. I'm genuinely shaking a bit, I'm not gonna lie. This is crazy, right? We are in, we are in. I never once thought that a hundred million play button would be achievable. And yet here it is. Let's take out the bubble wrap. Okay, it looks like maybe I should lift it out of the box. Okay, here we go. This is it. It's heavy. It is very heavy. Okay, should I just keep unfolding the bubble wrap? I guess so. I've got my first glimpse of red. Keep rotating around. We can see the red even more clearly. Oh my god. <sighs> Uh, there we are! <laughs> it was done. Although it came with a scratch due to overseas shipping as well as a broken crystal, Jack now had the biggest piece of YouTube history in his possession. However, he wasn't borrowing it. He now owned it. The Lizard Lava holds onto the play button for a while. He starts thinking about things. He starts getting some messages from different people. And he basically comes to what I describe as a pretty sensible adult conclusion. If he sells this play button that was originally a wedding gift, he could have enough money to support him and his new wife so that they have enough money for a deposit for their very first house. And buying a house is like the biggest thing that most people ever do in their lives. So from my perspective, someone messages me saying, hey, you want to buy a 100 million play button? There's only like three of them in the world. What am I going to say? And it's pretty much as simple as that. 
So, Jack was now the new owner of PewDiePie's original 100 million play button, and we finally got to see it be reunited with the briefcase that it originally arrived in back in September of 2019. But the story doesn't end there. Since this was a huge achievement, the news spread from subreddit to subreddit, eventually appearing in one of PewDiePie's videos. And this is what he had to say about it. This English YouTuber called Jack Sucks at Life bought both the 100 mil play button and the box, finally reunited them together. Yeah, so apparently Lizard Soul his, which, you know, he could have hang on to it a little longer. I mean, I didn't expect him to keep it forever, but I think it's fair enough. I don't really care. So, although PewDiePie didn't seem to be in the highest of spirits when hearing that Lizard sold his play button, he does mention that he doesn't really care what happens to it now that it's not in his hands. And it also helps Lizard a lot, as he now has the money to help his wife and himself financially. And also, at least he didn't just list it on eBay and sell it to the highest bidder. At least it's going to someone we know because now we can keep track of it through the years, but we're just going to have to wait and see what happens to it. Whether it sits in Jack's office for the rest of his career, or if it makes its way around the world again, it's going to be an exciting journey regardless. So, who knows what's next? We'll just have to wait and see. This is how Jack sucks at life did the impossible. I'll see you all later.